Hi loves, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're a new subscriber, you're welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, I love you guys so much. For today's tutorial, we'll be making a half butterfly bubble gown. I have this lace with me. I have this fabric with me also. You can see it's a very beautiful Ankara fabric. I have with me also a matching zipper, my measuring tape, my scissors, my chalk and also my measuring rule. I have folded my fabric into four. I'll be cutting the front and the back together. As you can see, the front is unfolded while the back is not. We'll start with our measurements. I'll start with the neckline. My neckline will be 5 inches for the width. We'll go down for the back neckline. I'll go down by 1.5 inches. For the front now, I'll come down by five inches and i'll connect those points together to form a curve using my curved rule now for our shoulder slope i'll come down by one inch at this area and i'll also come down by one and a half inches at the end of the folded fabric Go ahead and connect these lines together. Now for the armhole, I will go down by 9 inches. For the waistline, 17 inches. For the hip line, I will come down by 8 inches from the waistline. And I will mark that down for the hip. Also for the knee line, I will come down by 22 inches. Connect these points to form a straight line. Also, mark the hip line at the back piece, the waistline, the bust point, and also the neckline for the back. To eliminate zipper bulge, at the waistline, I would come in by half of an inch. And I will connect that half of an inch with a slanted line to the hip point and also to the waistline. Now let's start taking our round circumference measurements. I'll be taking the measurements only on the front piece. Do not take your measurements from the zipper allowance of the bag. For the bust, I will take the bust divided by 4 plus 1.5 inches sewing allowance. For the waist, I will take my waist round measurement divided by 4 plus 1.5 inches sewing allowance. Move over to the hip line and I will take my hip round measurement divided by 4 plus 1.5 sewing allowance and I'll mark that down. I would also take the same measurement I have on my hip line to the knee line and also to the hem line and I will connect these points together. Every day, I want you to So take the measurement from your neckline to the sleeves. There will be no armhole for this particular project. And I will mark down 17 inches. That is at this point. Connect that 17 inches to meet the hip line using a curve. You can use your curved rule for this. But I will be making use of the freehand method. Add about half to one inch sewing allowance on every side, then go ahead and cut this out. Cut out the neckline for the back. From the curve of the front neckline, I would come down by three and a half inches. Go in at the curved line by half of an inch and also at the three and a half inch mark. And connect using a curve. Go ahead and cut this out only on the front piece. We'd head over to our sewing machine and join the shoulders. 
after joining the shoulders together i used the lace to form um, a design on the front piece around the neckline the next step would be to attach a zipper to the back piece after attaching the zipper this is what we have you can see clean and neat and the zipper board is eliminated i also left about 13 to 14 inches slits at the back piece attach the design you would want at the sleeve area i also made an ankara turban to go with this outfit i'll be teaching you that in my next tutorial so if you're not subscribed already go ahead and subscribe to join this side place the front and the back piece together and then you'll be closing them with about one inch sewing allowance do this using a curve downwards on both sides after that flip to the right side come down by nine inches mark out your bust waist and hip measurement and run a stitch to hold it down now for the designing i wanted to go with these pearls that i have shown you earlier i will just be using my e7000 adhesive glue to just use it to stick the pearls onto the fabric so enjoy the process and take your time to do this after that i would place this dress on my mannequin to show you guys the finished look So I have put the dress on my mannequin and you can see how it came out so beautiful with the pearls. This is the Ankara turban I made to go with the outfit. So subscribe and hit the bell notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.